Nick, uh, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. In the summer, you, you, you talked about having met uh, with Kawhi, and I'm just wondering, since your first encounter, have you had much chance to interact with him, and what would you, how, what, were you, what have you been able to gauge about him before he gets to start to camp? And congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Um, yeah, well, obviously, you know, after the trade, we came up here to Toronto and, and met and had a really good meeting. And, and um, you know, Kawhi bases himself in San Diego, obviously, and was out there a few times to, to um, you know, set up some workouts and see him, et cetera. I mean, listen, he's, um, as we know, Kawhi is a, uh, a man of few words, but his actions this summer are similar to what you'd think. He's, he's a serious guy with a great work ethic and um, I was impressed with um, what he was doing out there getting ready to go I mean obviously we're gonna see here when we go to to Vancouver and get to integrate him in but um, I love what I've seen so far Doug? Hi. Yeah, Nick it's uh, Doug Smith of the Toronto Star all right congratulations there young fella thanks Doug um, what would a Nick Nurse coach team look like vis-a-vis -a, -vis a Dwayne Casey coach team last year. What's, what, what was the fancy as a difference? Well, let's just talk about what my team will look like. I think that, um, listen, I, I love teams that play really hard, right? That, that go out there each and every night with a um, commitment you can see to, you know, to win the game, right? And uh, to me, that looks like, um, you know, I kind of like say if you if you ask me like what's my philosophy my philosophy is a kind of like an entrepreneurial philosophy right an entrepreneur will do whatever they have to do to make sure things get done and that's that's you know our coaches will be that way and our players will be that way just just do what it takes man and and um, aesthetically let's move the ball and let's guard people and and let's fight and that's you know that's basically it right. Mike Gander from the Toronto Sun. Hi, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? Uh, sorry about this. Back to Kawhi again for a second. Yep. Um, I, there was a big question. Is is going to be health like, like all year? I mean, is, is there any indication that his health is going to be an issue from what you've seen? Not from what I've seen at all, but obviously, you know, a guy who hasn't played um, that much is we're going we're gonna to monitor it. And listen, Alex McKechnie and our staff have, have – um, you know, will do. They always have done a great job. I mean, our teams have been incredibly healthy, right? Um, and, and we put our players on the floor. Uh, right now, we think it's everything's all systems go. Um, but as with all our guys, right, we're going to monitor uh, things and we're going to be smart about it. And I listen to those guys, right? When they, when they, when they tell me somebody's good to go and he's ready to go, and we're going to play him. And if they, if they say there's something we need to rest or take a look at or, or, Something else would be beneficial, then we, we take that advice and take a look at that as well. Over here, Chico Nishon, CBC Sports. Uh, Nick, Hi. that first conversation you had with, uh, with Kawhi, you said he <clears throat> lit up like a Christmas tree when you guys were talking about different schemes. Is that kind of just Kawhi, like he's a basketball junkie that, was there anything in particular you said, or he's just happy to be talking basketball again? Yeah, I think I think um, he loves basketball, right? There's no there's no doubt about it. I think uh, he's an astute player from from what I could tell already. Again, I haven't had a, a lot of time to work with him. I think the, uh, this relationship that that he has with all of us will will grow. But he's a hooper, man. He loves to play, and he plays hard, and he plays to win. Steve. Nick, Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun. Hi, Steve. Um, we haven't heard much from Kyle this summer. Uh, his best friend was traded away. I'm wondering what your talks with him have been, what's your summer been like him, and what have you heard from him? Well, he's uh, ready to go to work. That's, that's what I do know. Um, he's in town and ready to go. And uh, listen, you know, Kyle's the guy that, like, I get amazed sometimes sitting there on that bench at how hard he plays and how badly he wants to win. And uh, none of that has changed. And when, when we get to, uh, get to work, um, we are all going to see that again. And we're looking forward to it.
Josh Lewinberg, TSN, all the way in the back. Hi, Josh. Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, maybe this is more of a question for them, but in, in terms of the relationship between Kawhi and Kyle, do you have any idea of how much contact they've had with each other, how much they might know each other? I do not monitor their contact between each other, but I do, I do know they, they, have, they have talked and text and all kinds of things, but how much, Josh, again, I don't, I don't, I don't keep track of that. Um, uh, again, I think we'll have a lot of these answers here play out shortly of, of what the relationship would be like. And I can only assume that, again, they both play to win, right? And that's a common bond that we all have to love, right? That all of our teammates and our coaching staff and our organization, we all have to love. I, I see it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing those two guys together. Nick, it's Steve Brotherston, Pro B-Ball Report. Hi, Steve. Uh, just very curious how you view the changes. There's not big changes in personnel, but changes, how that will impact what this team's able to do this year versus previous seasons. Well, first of all, I think it's exciting, right? We're adding, you know, three, four, who knows how many new pieces, but three, three or four for sure, right? With Danny Green and, and Greg Monroe and Kwai for sure. Um, you know, we got Lorenzo Brown and Malachi Richardson, some guys that we've, we know a little bit that also could impact. But, but that's always an interesting thing coming in of, of how does this filter out, right? How does the chemistry, how do these guys work together? Who plays, you know, what role? And that's, that's the exciting part for me of getting on that plane today. We're, we're going to get to go out there and, and see some things. And, and, and uh, I have a feeling a lot of them are going to be really good. I think our team's really versatile. I think we'll see, be able to move a lot of pieces around, which in this day and age in basketball, I mean, a lot of teams are playing a lot of different lineups, and we're going to be able to do the same. So uh, I'm excited about trying to integrate these new guys. Does it take some time usually? Yeah, but we understand that, and we've got the time. We've got the time, and we've got the work ethic and all that stuff to, to, to see it through. Mike? Uh, Nick, uh, Michael Grange again. Yep. Hi again, Michael. <laughs> Again, uh, you know, given given you obviously new new to this role, yep. are, is everything on the table? Like, I mean, should we expect to see most of the guys back in starting roles, in starting roles? Is the message going to be, you know, we're completely open for business and opportunity? What's 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 your theme on that going to be? Well, I, again, we'll see once we get going. Uh, I'm I'm just excited, Michael. Listen, we've got a we got a lot of guys who who could start, right? And that that's a good that's what they call a good problem, right? In, in this league, um, I'm not really caught up into that. It doesn't doesn't mean you know so much to me, like who's going to be starting opening night and and uh, or whatever. But and if you have some ideas, I, I'd appreciate them. But but I'm not going to get into that. We have to we have to leave some suspense. So we so we have to. Uh, come to game one, right? But um, I, I'm excited again, like I said, about I think it's a really tremendous group of players. Like all the way through, uh, I, I can, there's, there's not anybody I'd be afraid to throw into a game right now. And I think the situation will call for some, some different things. And I think we're going to be open minded about that as we, as we head out to Vancouver. Back to the room. Hi, Coach Nurse, uh, Alan Crutter from Global Television. Hi, Alan. Um, San Antonio is a completely different market than Toronto, and I wonder if you've had any conversation with Kawhi about what media is like here, what expectations are like here, and, and how it's a different kind of place. Uh, I have not at all. Um, and again, like uh, I always kind of say, in, in all the jobs I've ever had, there, there's always things surrounding the team, some good, some bad, so whatever. But I always say, let's just get the team to the practice floor. For practice and get the team to the arena floor for the games and and uh, all that other stuff takes and I, and I kind of think that's the approach. Um, I think uh, Kawhi's been around long enough; he'll be able to handle any any positive or negatives that surround other than basketball. But but the important thing is is he's going to show up and we're all going to show up and do our work and that's really our focal point that that we can handle. Bruce. Bruce Arthur from the Toronto Star over here, Nick. Um, Hi. It, you've never been in this position. You've never had a player of this caliber as a coach. But what's your philosophy in general when you're dealing with 
the best player on your team and how much you direct them and how much they direct you in terms of the relationship and the back and forth? Well, again, you know, going back to the philosophy question, um, listen, doing whatever it takes to get it done is kind of is kind of the philosophy. Um, these these guys are, especially these guys that are really really good. Like I like to give them some freedom, right? There's there's a framework of what we're all doing together, but I like to give them some freedom. It's 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 uh, you'll you'll see this with me a lot. I I listen to a lot of music and stuff and. And the freedom sometimes is where they become really great. And, and they know that. I talk to them about, about um, our offense is set up that way. Even our defense is set up to, to win in the freedom moments. So, um, yeah, there'll be some give and take, right? I've certainly, uh, I always say uh, we need to share ideas to get to a common goal and, and togetherness and putting our arms around each other and all that kind of stuff to get us where we're going is, uh, is kind of our our philosophy on that stuff. He's never played really heavy, heavy superstar minutes in his career because of the San Antonio system. Yep. Uh, you've got a really deep team and deep at his position, but do you foresee kind of upping his minutes over his historical numbers or keeping them where they are? Um, we, we'll see how that plays out. I, I think um, I, I would hope, again, we're going to play a deep rotation. Like I think we played a pretty deep rotation last year, pretty consistently 10, snuck in 11, sometimes 12. You know, to me, if, if guys deserve to play and when they get their chance, go out there and, and do positive things, we're going to play as many as we can. Um, but, you know, when it, when it comes time to, comes to winning time, you know, the guys that have played well that night or the guys that can take you home in those moments will be out there. Ian? Coach Ian Harrison, Associated Press. You talked hey. about the versatility that you expect to have from this team. What does the addition of Kawhi mean to that angle specifically? What does he bring to the table that will, will help you there? Well, he's a versatile guy, right? And, and, but he's not alone. Like, like, we've tried to make a lot of these guys versatile. Pascal and OG and, and DeLon. You know, these guys are playing, you know, two, three, four positions. And, and that's what he does. He scores it in. He scores it out. And that's what we, you know, we've worked hard on, on uh, all of our guys becoming more versatile because that's what we want to be and that's what we think is the most effective uh, thing we can do, right? So, um, I think he brings everything to the table, but I think a lot of these younger guys, they'll, they'll see uh, his game as well and, and be able to emulate some of those things he does. You know, both ends. He can guard smalls and bigs, and he can score in and out. You know, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Hi. Um, William LeScore. Um, we saw a jump in three-point shooting last season from 22 to 33 attempts. Could we see even more emphasis on the three-point shot uh, this season? We could. We could. I think, I think on the surface, our, our, on paper, our team has gotten better from behind the line, right? We'll see how that all plays out. Um, hopefully, we can continue to create more open looks. And that's, that's really what we're doing, right? It's not so much that we're trying to shoot a ton of threes. We're just trying to get good, high-value shots. And some nights, it happens to be a lot of threes. And some nights, it happens to be a lot of rim, right? But we're trying to create those opportunities. Um, I think we've got more guys that can shoot them at a higher percentage, so that would probably tend to favor that we're going to shoot a few more. But we got to create them first, right? We got to be able to create them with great ball movement, cutting, rhythm, chemistry. And uh, if we do all that, then we'll probably see a little jump up, yeah. Rippy said the last question then. Tom Warsborn, San Antonio Express News. Um, Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Thank you. Good. Um, did you talk to Kawhi or gain any insight from him about what went wrong for him in San Antonio? And is it a concern that things soured between him and a franchise that's uh, run so well? I have not talked to him about that at all. Um, here's what I know is I know he's ready to go. He's serious about uh, his game and serious about winning. And I'm just going to take it from there.